in quarantine land. So they're cleaning up the garage and I found three dolls that I had in there, which clearly was Barbies, I clearly was G.I. Joe's, I clearly was whatever. I'm not like a collector or anything. I was really young when I got this doll and my mom didn't want me to take it out of the box, but as a little kid, when you're told you can't do something, sometimes you kind of don't. 1981. This is what I did to the box. The pink and pretty Barbie. As you can see, I went a little buck nutty with a yellow marker. Pink and pretty. Here is the doll. She's still on her back. There you go. Uh, she used to have rubber bands holding her hair together that kind of melted into there. And uh, yeah, this is it. It's a very mix and match doll. Why didn't she open it? I didn't really rebel a lot. When my mom said don't open, I didn't open. Other people who had the doll were always missing parts of the clothes and I could never fully realize my vision. Another doll I got, which I, I may have gotten after my high school graduation. After high school, I still liked Barbies. I didn't care what anyone thought. They thought, why not? They thought, why not? So anyway. <laughs> Here is the Make a Valentine Barbie from 1998. Here's the box. That's the edge. This is a very simple one. Uh, she came with a brush, ring, the pressure, some messed up hair. She also had a rubber band that melted. It was like that. This wasn't me. This wasn't anybody in my family. This is how the doll came. It's just cut her hair to the hairstyle. The people like me who take her hair out don't like that because then this her hair is like so uneven and i have to fix that it's plastic if you fix plastic and it just sticks straight out sometimes you can't just fix that this third doll is not a barbie um it is from mattel though the reason why i was given this doll was just because of her name it is a diva stars and her name is miranda now if you know what what diva stars look like they're wannabe bratz dolls i completely forgot that she talked like, what's going on there? She looks like a gelfling. These are a little smashed on this side, but they're false eyelashes. She's got the butterfly clip. See, these little white parts glow in the dark. Little butterfly on her choker glows in the dark. Little star glows in the dark. Her, uh, the bottoms of her boots glow in the dark. These huge boots that were, like, all the rage. And are kind of still the rage. And I don't know if you noticed. Yes, that is a pager. Slash beeper. Whatever you called it, depending on where you were from. Or not at all, if you're like, doctors are the only ones who have those things. Not in the 90s. This was an early 2000s doll, but still. Trying so hard. I don't know if you can see it. It says Diva and then a little star. Besides the fact that she has a pager. And besides the fact that her boots don't slide off, they open. I'm sorry I don't have batteries. This is had her stored for a long time. Her lips light up when she talks. And the way to make her talk, Diva Stars, Mattel, this was not a good design. First off, the reason for that, that's where the battery goes, because you would your head down and make her talk. Huh? Head down. Why would you smash her head down and make her talk? So anyway, I still have the book right now. Oh my goodness. I was looking at this doll and I realized, hey, what if I pop off the butterfly, make the choker black, maybe give her a little lob or something, take these clips out, make her modern. I might do that in another video because I'm bored and I used to do that when I was younger. I'm not one of those, uh, those people who really remakes dolls, I'm just a kid who just likes to cut my Barbie hair to make it look different. Alright, so I'm going to go now and I hope this was entertaining to anybody. I'm going to edit it and post it today, so if you're wondering, when did she record this? Okay. It's Friday. It's an okay day. What are you doing this weekend? Mm -hmm.